Exploring the Parables of the Kingdom The parable of the mustard seed in Matthew 13 verses 31 to 32 teaches profound lessons about the kingdom of God. Jesus compares the kingdom to a mustard seed, emphasizing its small beginnings but its potential for significant growth. Here's an expanded explanation of key points. Small beginnings. The mustard seed, known for being tiny, symbolizes how the kingdom of God often begins in modest, almost unnoticeable ways. Jesus' ministry itself started humbly in a small region with few followers, reflecting this idea. Similarly, individual acts of faith, or even the work of the early church, may seem insignificant at first glance. Growth and Expansion Despite its tiny size, the mustard seed grows into a large tree, far exceeding expectations. This symbolizes how the kingdom of God, once planted, has an inherent power to grow and expand far beyond its initial size. Over time, the kingdom touches lives and transforms communities, showing how something small can become a global, life-changing movement. This growth also reflects the spread of the gospel, which began with a few disciples and has reached the ends of the earth. Providing shelter, the parable mentions that birds come and nest in the branches of the tree. This symbolizes how the kingdom of God becomes a place of refuge, shelter, and safety. Just as the tree provides a home for the birds, the kingdom of God provides spiritual security and comfort to those who come under its rule. Unexpected Impact The parable also highlights that the kingdom of God does not always unfold as people expect. Just as a tiny mustard seed growing into a large tree is surprising, so is the kingdom's influence. God's kingdom operates differently from earthly kingdoms. Its power is often hidden, yet its influence is transformational, far-reaching, and lasting. In essence, this parable reassures believers that even if the kingdom of God seems small or its progress slow, it is destined to grow into something vast and impactful, transforming lives and providing a place of belonging for many. In both the parable of the mustard seed and the parable of the leaven, Jesus uses everyday imagery to illustrate profound spiritual truths about the kingdom of God. They both emphasize the themes of small beginnings and transformative power, but in different ways. The mustard seed and leaven, small beginnings and transformative power. Small beginnings. Both the mustard seed and leaven are symbols of something that starts incredibly small, almost insignificant in appearance. The mustard seed is the tiniest of seeds, and leaven is just a small portion of yeast, barely noticeable in a batch of dough. In both parables, Jesus is illustrating how the kingdom of God begins humbly and quietly, often without fanfare or outward signs of significance. This contrasts with the worldly expectation that power or influence should begin with large, grand gestures. These images remind believers that even the smallest acts of faith, obedience, or the spreading of the gospel can grow into something incredibly significant. Though the kingdom may seem hidden or small in its beginnings, its influence is destined to spread and transform. Transformative Power Despite their small size, both the mustard seed and leaven hold immense potential for growth and transformation. The mustard seed grows into a large tree that provides shelter for many, while the small amount of leaven works through an entire batch of dough, causing it to rise and expand. This illustrates how the kingdom of God works quietly and often unseen but has the power to completely transform individuals, communities, and eventually the world. The leaven specifically highlights the hidden yet pervasive power of the kingdom. Once it is mixed into the dough, the yeast works from the inside out, unseen but affecting the entire batch. Similarly, the kingdom of God transforms hearts and minds from within, and its impact spreads through society in ways that might not be immediately obvious but are undeniably powerful. Matthew 13 verse 33 The Parable of the Leaven In this short but profound parable, Jesus compares the kingdom of heaven to leaven, yeast, that a woman hides in three measures of flour until the entire batch is leavened. Here are the key elements of the parable. The hidden nature of the kingdom. Just as leaven is hidden in the dough, the kingdom of God often works in hidden ways, not drawing attention to itself. It transforms from within, often without dramatic outward signs. The spiritual work of the kingdom, changing hearts, spreading love, justice, and mercy. 
may be invisible at first but has a profound effect on everything it touches. Pervasive transformation. The small amount of leaven affects the entire batch of flour, causing it to rise and expand. This shows how the kingdom of God, though it may begin in small ways, like in the heart of a believer or a small group of disciples, has the power to transform the entire world. The leaven works gradually but thoroughly, affecting every part of the dough, just as the kingdom transforms all areas of life, personal, social, and spiritual, symbol of full transformation. The fact that the entire batch of dough is leavened emphasizes the complete transformation the kingdom brings. Once the kingdom begins its work, nothing remains untouched. It represents the power of God's rule to transform individuals, families, communities, and even the world when people submit to his reign. Conclusion Both the mustard seed and the leaven illustrate how the kingdom of God starts small and works quietly, but possesses incredible transformative power. What begins humbly, whether as a single act of faith, a small community of believers, or an individual spiritual growth, can expand into something much greater, transforming lives, societies, and ultimately the world as the kingdom of God spreads and takes root. These parables remind us to never underestimate the power of small beginnings in God's hands and to trust in the quiet, unseen work of the Holy Spirit as the kingdom continues to grow and transform the world. I personally thank you as we go through together this teaching on the kingdom of heaven and its meaning as citizens of the kingdom. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to reach out to me. Liddybug2022